All right, guys, and welcome back to another video here in Colombo, Sri Lanka. Well, as you can see, it's absolutely baking once again. So, I've been spent a fair amount of time in this concrete jungle. I thought we'd catch a train from the famous Central Colombo Fort Station and head south for a beach day but not just any beach day and this won't be just any train ride no 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 this is going to be a three dollar a night beach hostel the cheapest place by far that I will ever have stayed in but just wait till you see it it might just be the bargain of the century That's really modern, how busy is it? Okay, it looks pretty packed. Now, I'm not sure where the seat reservations are, as I say. Thank you, ladies. The two ladies that I asked a moment ago said that they seem to think it changes each time. So that had a number one on it, and that has an A on it. And we're looking, I think, for B. That was a number three, okay. I suspect that we might be all the way up here. So that makes sense, okay. So the carriages are indeed numbered on the side. That is third class everybody is rushing so those guys are rushing for seats because like I said there are no reservations outside of first class you're not guaranteed a seat in other words so here we go coach B first class although it has A there as well I think this might be A but I also want to make sure that we don't miss it whoa it's very busy okay Let's take a look. First class coach A, first class coach B. Okay. All right, we are on. Oh man, it is so cool. That is such a relief. All right, so you've got the uh, the seats clearly numbered as you'd expect anywhere in the world. Back at home and we are in 31B. Or oh, 31, where are we? 29, 30, 31, okay. Oh, we are here. Do we have a window? Yes, we do. There's no pillar. 31. So I think A must be for aisles, so we don't have a window seat, unfortunately, but we'll see if uh, if it might be empty. You never know, luck might be in. But yeah, first impressions, you've got loads of space. And the most valuable thing, of course, is the seat. She saw how busy it was back there. But this is actually much smoother than I expected overall. Maybe we've even got a little in-flight entertainment as well going on up there. Very nice. Right, let me try and get my bag out of the way. Maybe we'll go up there and uh, yeah, I'll make room for my uh, my fellow passengers. All right, so we're just leaving the city now. As you can see on the right hand side is Gaul Face Beach, not the Gaul Beach, which is where we're heading to. Whoa, a little bit bumpy. Let's have a little tour of the facilities beyond. Beyond the seating, which so far has been good. Wow, look at that for you. There it goes, Old Gaul Face Beach. We're gonna go to the origin, the source. There's a really strong smell, but not a bad one. A really strong smell of bleach. And as we're next to the toilet, that's a good omen. Let's take a look. Let's see what a first class Sri Lankan toilet looks like. Is anybody in? No. Oh, all right. Yeah, so that smell, the bleach is definitely coming from here. Look at that, it's like a bottomless hole. <laughs> Straight down onto the tracks. But, oh, whoa. Okay, pretty clean. I think the tap has probably seen better days. That looks like maybe an Indian plumber has visited here and done the handiwork. That is very much in keeping with my time in India. Anyway, we have ourselves a mirror so we can arrive in style. What appears to be a fairly decent fan system. Is it even AC? I must say it's not so hot in here. It's pretty cool. And then the famous spray gun that everybody uses in this part of Asia. And that push pot there. This is bringing back memories of the sleeper train in Romania. What a ride that was in the July heat back last summer. So there we go, waving goodbye to the downtown area of the big bad city. And we're gonna head for more of this kind of beauty. All right, we are pulling into our first station, Old Mount Lavinia. 
beside the palm trees and these wonderful murals. Very impressive. Let's see who's boarding. Okay, we have a few getting on. Tickets being inspected. Let's see if we can take a little walk through here. So ideally, I want to see if we can try and nick a window seat on this side, on the coast side. And the guy said it's okay. But let's see if we can go through here. Take a look. Looks pretty full. It's worth a quick look though. Aha, maybe there's one here. Okay, there's potential here. But maybe a pill, but my goodness, look. I know I get accused of making poverty porn all too often. Hello, my friend. Ah, a fellow cameraman. But let's take a look here. Wow, that is reality. Oh, I think the third class seat. Let me take a quick look. Hey, brother. Sorry to get in your shot. <laughs> we can, we can simultaneously. Hey, brother. Is that number two or number three class? Is that number two or three? Do you know, brother? Number one. That's number one? Yes. Oh, okay. I think, I think it's not first class. It looks so, uh, so cramped. It looks very busy. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm guessing maybe that's lost in translation. But uh, anyway, sorry, brother. I was like, you're in my shot, I'm in your shot. It's all good. All right. Are you on YouTube though? Yes. Are you on YouTube as well? Yeah. What is the name of your channel? Uh, uh, my channel is Financial uh, Financial YouTuber. Financial YouTuber. Who yes. would have thought, hey? <laughs> in Taiwan. In Taiwan. Ah, yeah. oh, from Taipei. Yeah, from Taipei. I've been to Taipei and Chufen. I enjoyed it. <laughs> and great street food. Some of the best food in all of the world. Yeah. Nice so to meet you, brother. From? England. From England. Yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you. All right. So yeah, as you can see, that would have been the grim reality of not otherwise having a seat reservation secured via first class only. Take a look and see what extent I'm about to be ripped off. Hey, you know Para Beach? I know, I know. Yeah. Nice. How much to Para Beach? One thousand five hundred. One thousand five hundred. Local price. Oh, local price. Yes. We'll see. It's I only like. fifteen minutes away. That Excuse sounds like me. a lot of money. Excuse me. Big traffic, okay. Oh, big traffic. Okay. 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 All right. Well, we'll see. We will see. You say fifteen hundred is a good local price? Yes. Yes. Local price fifteen hundred. Okay. Let's see. 
We will uh, maybe tuk -tuk 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 -tuk. We will check on here. Okay. Give me uh, give me a minute. I will have a look on Uber and maybe I will take you. I will just check if it's a fair price. He says 1500. It just sounded like quite a lot given that uh, yeah, things were like two or three hundred in Colombo to go maybe a similar similar distance. Yeah, it looks nice. Oh, there we go. 500. Full of shit. Like every other rickshaw driver in Sri Lanka, whether it's Colombo or Galley, they're full of shit. Use Uber. All right, brother, you're full of shit, aren't you? You're full of shit. Right. We thought as much. We're playing that game. Look. 500 not 1500 it was charging three times as much the rickshaw scammers of sri lanka galley edition so you're just waiting to rip off one tourist and then do no work for the next six hours you can pay the uh, 1000 rupees 1000 oh yeah good okay that's only twice as much now go away 1200 is the latest offer Sign him on twice and here is his working place not his scamming place Sounds like scamming place, charging tourists twice as much. I uh, know he's not so keen to have a chat. You can't get rid of them when you don't want to talk. Oh, second camera, there we go. Bye. Bye bye. Charging bye. twice as much. There we go. Another one bites the dust. One of the many scammers outside Gal Railway Station. Hey, brother. All right. My good man has picked me up, and we're on our way to Butter Beach where this ultra budget hostel awaits us but hopefully it's going to be pretty beautiful in terms of the view and now thankfully the weather's looking a little bit better as well we should just make it in time for sunset or at least what's left of it given the clouds maybe it'll get a little bit clearer but anyways we're on our way So just arrived and dropped the bags after that thankfully uneventful tuk-tuk ride. Got the guys in the kitchen here. That's really promising food-wise, but that's not what we came for. Let me give you a little tour. Hey bro. Let me give you a little tour of the facilities. So first of all, let me show you where I'm staying and then we'll head down to the beach. So we've got DJ and things going on there. It's a lot livelier than I thought, but just giving you a little preview of what we're about to go down and indulge in in a moment. Let me show you to my room. So, some uh, suspicious, <laughs> dubious names here. However, they obviously know I'm not a Pepsi man. So, here is my crib for the night. As you can hear, the DJ is beneath my feet there we go sturdy lock but just check it out guys i'm in what has got to be one of the greatest bargain rooms ever just two pounds it cost for that view of the beach and obviously things are getting lively downstairs but to be honest i'm kind of in the mood now the music's pumping but we've got a mosquito net there might not be any fan or ac but so far with a little bit of breeze coming through Coming in off the sea, that sea air, I should be pretty fresh hopefully in the morning. So other than that, there's not a great deal else. What is this? Maybe a bit of drainage? I don't know. A couple of lights, have we got mood lighting? No, I think that's it. But nice double bed, somewhere to uh, put your bag and look, <laughs> a head height plug socket. What every vlogger needs. Anyways, why don't we? head down to the beach do what we came to do get a little bit of sand between our toes and why not have a dip in the sea looks well, pretty promising for a little night's party oh yes why don't we have a little paddle my first 
first dip in the Indian Ocean, right? Or is it Bay of Bengal? I'm not sure. I'm confused. Is it warm? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, man. That is more like it. I don't know if this is the kind of place to do surfing. I'm sure that some people come down to do it on the southern point. But the waves right now seem to be pretty calm at this time. And the sand looks to be so clean. You got the little bits of white shell and stuff, but just look how clean it is. Also, there are a couple of local dogs there. I'm not walking in filth or rubbish or anything like that. In fact, this might be one of the cleanest beaches, save for like coconuts, which are of course natural here. One of the cleanest beaches that I've been on during my travels. So all of this coming from Colombo, the capital, has cost me, well, less than 10 bucks. Probably including a water on the way. Some refreshments and that ice cream that I had. Wow. Now I can see why people rave about Sri Lanka in this part of the world. And I know that usually beach videos like this wouldn't usually be my thing. Thing to vlog anyway. Of course I love doing them without the camera. But every once in a while it's so nice to get away from the hustle and the bustle of the city and the constant scamming and everything else. To just come and chill. And I don't think I'll have any problems doing that here. I didn't mean for it to get all deep, but as I've been stood shirtless gazing into the sunset in such a beautiful environment, yeah, it couldn't help but feel grateful. It's a special moment. And he got me thinking, as much as it wasn't my intention in this video to go into any deep stuff, I feel as though it's a fairly opportune moment just to say that we all go through shit. And eventually, you come out the other side. travel for me, this adventure with you guys, is without question the best thing that I've ever done. And to those of you who may be watching and may currently be otherwise unable to travel or escape whatever it is that you might be in the midst of now, at least you can share my adventure. We can share in this together. And I'll continue to show you that amidst the crazy markets and everything else, the world is a big place. There's a lot of it to appreciate. So no matter what's happening at the moment, it will pass. And with things like this, these moments, everything in perspective. Anyways, back to the usual programming. I think it's about damn time to cut my waffle and head up to the bar and grill for a nice chilled beer. I should probably get my shirt on as well so I'm going to scare the local dogs. All right, see you in a bit. So, to the first beer in a fair few weeks. Couldn't wish for a better setting. The yoga going on the beach, everybody having a good time, music going on in the background, it's set to be a good night. And yeah, it's been a cool day. Just gonna keep staring over there, enjoy the beer. I'll see you all in the old town of Gaul in the morning. Hopefully without a headache. Until next time, see you then.